He plays free at the back. He plays free at the back. I look at this. If he'd have gone into Chelsea at the start of the season and you look at Chelsea and you'd go, oh, that ticks the boxes. Oh, don't get me wrong. Moresco's done brilliant, but I'm just saying if he'd have gone in before Moresco, you go, oh, he ticks the boxes. You can see why I'm... Chelsea are trying to get him. They want to play three at the back. They've got a lorry load of defenders, Chelsea. Very quick defenders, centre-halves. They've got wing-backs in the making already, ready-made wing-backs in Chilwell and James and Gusto. They've got a centre-forward in in uh, Jackson that holds the ball up, can run beyond, and he's, he's a handful. They've got natural number 10s in Palmer and Kuka, and Kuki, and Kuka, sorry. And then, you know, they've got midfield players. But you look at this Man United team and you think, right, they haven't got a forward who's dominant. They haven't got number 10s. They haven't got three quick centre-halves that, that are quick at the back that are going to uh, play a high line. They've got no wing-backs. There's a lot of work to be done. A lot, a lot of work to be done at Man United. This is not going to be overnight. It's so interesting that you say that thing about going on holiday because I went on a trip to Lisbon last year and it was exactly the same. In the taxis, they all said, I can't believe this guy, Ruben Amrim, hasn't been taken by a Premier League club. Yeah. Um, yeah. J- just on that, on that point then, do you almost this season, and I know when it's Man United, it's difficult, sort of give him a free pass and say, have a look, check the players you like, check the players you don't, and next season is really when we start judging you. Is that just unrealistic because it's Man United's? Yeah, first of all, it was you then, Rob, because when I went there, they said there was this bloke who worked at Sky and never give a tip. So that must have been you. But anyway, yeah, uh, yeah, I think it'll take time. I think he's got to get his players in. I think he's got to start bringing players in that go into boxes. Instead of just buying Tom, Dick and Harry, they've got to go out and they've got to go, right, I need a, a wing back. I need a dominant centre forward. Will they go and buy a Kukares? Probably will. But I don't think it's, I think it's a hundred million. I think that's too much. But he'll want someone like him, hundred percent. I, I think he goes and tries and gets him next season. You know, you need to score goals the way they play. You know, I think Fernandez probably end up playing as a number ten. You know, who's going to play behind? But they'll need someone else. You know, people like Rashford, uh, Ganacho. I don't know where they're going to play because they're not wing backs. You know, they're not going to get up and down. The wing back is one of the hardest positions in football. You've got to get up the wing, cross the ball. Then you've got to get back and defend. You are up and down that wing all day. I call it the graveyard shift in football. It's hard. It's a real, real hard.